Saturday morning, following a night of entertainment at Pier 1 on Newtown Barracks, a massive fight broke out near the entrance to the MCC grounds, reportedly between two rival gangs. Four men, 22-year-old Mark Bengoshe, 21-year-old Eugene Arana, and 28-year-olds Austin Rowland and Joel Bishop were ambushed by a larger group of men. Eyewitnesses say more than 15 persons sometime around 3 o'clock. The men, who are all from the Lake Independence area of the city, were brutally injured and rushed to the KHMH. Some nine hours later, Bishop, an Oleander Street resident, would succumb to his injuries. The doctor then he tell Fihipa that um, then they bring him to the theater and he don't dead, no? They can't do nothing for him, they bring the function, right? So they tell we can't really see him till boy living. Till when he go in at the ICU, you know, they hook up and then they make quick on see her again. So now, at this time, I start to meditate as to what happened, because nobody don't know what happened. We only hear that he began uh, one event out there at BTL Park. He and one of our neighbor from down the street, Astin. You understand? The chest me broke. I think his spine, his vital organs, they were all damaged. His foot broke. And a head. Till when he go in at the ICU, you know, they hook up and then they make quick on see her again. So now, at this time, I start to meditate as to what happened, because nobody don't know what happened. We only hear that he began uh, one event out there at BTL Park. He and one of our neighbor from down the street, Astin. You understand? The chest me broke. I think his spine, his vital organs, they were all damaged. His foot broke. And his head, it gets so much beating in his head. You understand? They had a head burn up though. Right? And then the side of his face me broke up. I think some of my teeth didn't come out. You understand? But during the fight, he also said he see the next young man from up the street, you know, then they beat him too. But he made a fight now for some big rock. Well, not a set of guys. The blood stains, shattered vehicle glass, and bare bottles in the area are the telltale signs that something went awfully wrong as the men were heading home. One eyewitness spoke of what transpired. After about maybe four or five minutes of um, consistent beating, the young man was unconscious. The, his male friends that were with him they had left his side, you know, um, which I don't blame anybody because, like I said, it was just total chaos. The young men then moved down to the gate and they saw this young man in a black pickup truck. And one of the guys said, he's from Mahogany area as well. And as he exited his pickup, they started beating on him. There's still a blood stain on the sidewalk. They beat him again for about maybe four or five minutes. Constant beating. And about 10 of them, they beat this young man to death. He said about the loan to, 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 um, to tap her, to cup her, to tap. I said, what is that? He said, well, when they kick, kick you in your face with the, with the, 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 the pint and the shoes, no? He said, I loan lot, then they get a young man. He said, he just stop where he neck and he meet, then they beat her. And he left in a shock. So he said, they beat the young man, they pick up her, he drop. He said, but by the side, the young man don't knock out. So I said, what? He said, mommy, about 10 men, all of them, they walk across the street, they walk back, they stamp up in their chest, and they beat her to death. Police arrived minutes after the assailants fled the scene, reportedly in two getaway vehicles that were parked close by to find an unconscious bishop on the ground. The Eastern Division North has since launched both a criminal and a traffic investigation to determine the cause of death. A motive, however, has still not been established. Shortly after 3 a.m., police responded to a call in regards to a fight in the Newton Barrack area where several persons were observed with varied degrees of injuries. Um, one person was lying on the ground as a result of that fight. Reportedly, a vehicle sped off from the area. 
and ran over this person that was lying on the ground. Of the five persons that were injured, one is Joel Bishop, 28 years, and he suffered head and body injuries. Um, all persons were transported to the Carl Richner Memorial Hospital some nine hours after Joel Bishop succumbed to his injuries. Was the murder in retaliation for an incident that occurred in the same area two weeks ago involving PIV and Sapal Street gang members? The family says that Bishop was not affiliated with any gang and wants justice. But I pray to the God of justice that we get some justice in the death of we nephew because he never deserved to die like that. And I don't think no human under the almighty hands have the right to kill nobody like that. But was there poor police response to the incident? The GSU headquarters is a block away from where the incident took place. According to Assistant Commissioner of Police Desiree Phillips, several strategies are in place. Well, um, we had a, a mobile patrol within the area, and as a matter of fact, the police mobile that responded that was in the immediate area transported Mr. Bishop and two of the other persons to the hospital. Not only since this weekend, but we have actually, prior to um, increase police presence in different areas that we believe are areas that will be affected by crime. Um, as a matter of fact, you will see if you go around the city, we have mounted vehicular checkpoints at the northern approach of the four bridges. And that is one of the strategies that we have put into place Sorry, over this past weekend. Police have since impounded two vehicles and detained several persons who remain in custody as investigations continue. Dwayne Moody for News 5.